Hey, my loves. So, I'm hanging out with my mom today. She is on blended foods. Um, she has dementia. Um, and she's uh, a stroke survivor. I think it's been five strokes. First one at 45. Um over eight years ago, several small ones that were mini strokes that did the most cognitive damage. She still remembers family, um, say in, in, in like older times, you tell her something now, 10 minutes later, she doesn't remember, five minutes later, she doesn't remember. So um, right now, this is what our palate gets outside of um, tube feedings because she's been stubborn in the past where she didn't eat and she dropped 40 pounds in one uh, month and a half. And so um, her babies, the three of us decided that it was time to get alternative way of making sure that she was fed. And um, to the feeding where she gets three a day. Um, she's been on blended food now for maybe a year. Um, don't know why for sure patients with Alzheimer's or dementia holds food in their mouth. I don't know if they feel like they're not gonna get any more, if it's just a texture if it's just a thing to do because I've gone through several different types of events <laughs> over the last eight, nine years that she's been here at the nursing home. And um, at one time, it was just grabbing whatever was on the tray down to what the list of food amount uh, was for that day, you know, like the menu. Um, straws, um, <laughs> even to the salt and pepper. I mean, she just hoarded it in her bed. Nothing open, but just whatever, you know, condiment packs she wanted it. Give me that. Um, don't throw that away. Don't take that away. You find it under pillows. You find it under her um, covers. But thank God that surpassed. Next um, thing that she went to doing was holding um, objects in her mouth. For for example, button down shirts, button down nightgowns. She would bite them off and hold them in her mouth. And God forbid, because she's had aspiratic pneumonia um, three times before. So I had the shirts once I started to observe things, DC discontinued. Don't put her on this type of apparel or clothing. If it has to be pullover with no um, bedazzle, no bling, no buttons, just plain. Um, so I don't know if you can tell that her jaws are puppy right now. And what she's holding in her mouth is sweet tea. <laughs> Again, it's so many mysteries still that um, is noted and stated that is a mystery dealing with cognitive damage in the brain. That scientists and doctors are still trying to find these things out. Um, so... It is ways that I've learned from um, uh, dietitian is, you know, like massaging like under her jaw um, and around under her chin just to um, uh, allow her, I guess, a little of relaxation to go ahead and swallow. My mom's very stubborn. She was stubborn before she, 
before she even um, uh, got dementia, which, you know, they say, and it is true based on the experience that I've witnessed with her, it's like the attitude becomes a 360, you know, it's, it's just flip all the way around, it's turned up a thousand. So right now she's being stubborn and don't want to swallow. So I uh, will use a little saliva cup. Um, she didn't like the parade cabbage. I think that's what it is. Let's see. It's parade cabbage, mashed potatoes, and that is, I think, like a chicken and dumpling that has been parade. So I make sure that I have enough butter, salt, and pepper to season her food. She's not diabetic, so um, no blood pressure problems. Uh, so that, you know, at least the flavor tastes good. But in the result that she does not eat, she will get a tubing um, tonight. She will get a tubing. So she's still getting her nourishments. She's still getting her flushes. She still has um, her water and um, one other thing I'm going to show right quick Be okay you saw that water container I stay up on care plan meetings and I advise any family members any friends that are taking care of someone in a nursing home, go to the care plan meetings, get involved, have everyone that is staffable, that is relatable, in charge, has anything to do with your loved one or your friend, if you're authorized uh, power of attorney, um, any of those things. I think I think I said that right, power of attorney. Well, I'm the hard power of attorney. Yeah. And um, to go to those meetings and hear the reports, the weight reports, um, the eating reports, is it 100%? Is it 50%? Is it 75%? Talk to the dietitian. For example, that big cup I just told you, so I showed you guys, I have already put in a request to have a sippy cup. She had one before the pandemic. That um, kitchen manager is no longer here. They have a new one. So I have to reiterate all that over again because all that old data is no longer there. Um, so I was told. So now, <laughs> I'm sorry, let me get her off camera. <laughs> um, but I love her. I love her and so many other dementia diaries that I will bring to um, to the tube because I do want to um, just spend time being an inspiration, giving my um, experiences, dealing with the nurse home while she's here instead of being with me or her other kids two kids um it's so much that i'm going to bring to um uh, youtube in lieu of just being a support and giving you things and tips on how to deal how to deal in, with the staff how to deal with the cnas how to deal yourself when you're outside that door in these days where it's tough to come in. So I'm going to end it almost at 10 minutes now, but 10 minutes. But I did want to just, um, it's kind of a dual introduction to who I am. Talk it up with Angela Maria. I have so many things to bring to you uh, about myself and dealing with mental health, and dealing with learning differences. Um, where I was 13 years ago till now. So just stay tuned.